the 1980s were a really interesting time for electric guitar. It's all about glam metal and the fastest guitar shredders ever. And we're currently headed to the home of what Guitar One magazine voted the number one fastest guitar shredder of all time, Michelangelo Badio. And during the 80s, there was no one with bigger hair or tighter pants, faster guitar solos, or the wildest guitars. It was voted the 26th most outrageous moment in rock history. Yeah. So this is going to be a really fun shoot for me. <laughs> hey, hey, what's up, dude? Wow. <laughs> what? Oh my God. <laughs> Welcome to my home. <laughs> Pretty much this represents the collection. And then I have 50 or 60 more guitars that are duplicates. <laughs> Where do we even start? Well, I can tell you some of the guitars. Every guitar has a story. If you Wait, know, is this the original quad? Yes. Look at the number of tuning pegs. Seven? I so the first. you had seven strings, but what's really interesting about that to me is that like my era of guitar playing, we want more notes, but they're lower. That's right. But this was, you wanted more notes, yeah, but they I were wanted, higher. I wanted it higher. Yeah. So yeah. you had like, what, a high A string yeah. on that? Yeah, it was a tenor banjo string. Uh -huh. Kept breaking. Yeah. <laughs> These were custom made uh, Kalish seven strings just for Yeah. Me. The top two were seven and the, the bottom, and the bottom were, two six. were six. Yeah. This is from the Speak Hills video. Yeah. That's an exact replica, 29 frets. <laughs> and Wayne Charvel built that. You know, you hear companies like Charvel and Gibson. Yeah. Well, I knew Wayne Charvel. This just caught my eye immediately because I recognized these. Right. Because yeah. I, I was telling you one of the first videos I ever posted on YouTube was us going, I'm going to give you the keys to the Lamborghini. I'm going to give you the keys to the Lamborghini. <laughs> kind of summed it up. But yeah, I'm really proud of this. Those videos of you are like early, early, like even before YouTube era, That's like right. classic right. guitar internet video. Oh, thanks. I'm gonna give you the keys to Lamborghini. <laughs> wow. I was in the band Nitro and I had mm -hmm. Wayne Charvel building all my guitars for me. And he's like, Mike, I've got some military aircraft aluminum. I'm like, well, great. He goes, I can use it for a veneer on a guitar. <laughs> when Vi came out with the gym, he had that grip there. Yeah. So we decided, see Ooh. this was originally designed. Yeah. And then he did all the cool beveled edges too. Yeah, but yeah. It's not for everybody. <laughs> yeah. But I don't care, neither am I. Yeah. <laughs> Back to getting more notes, you right know, up to the neck pickup yeah. here. Then what does this go up to? Cause normally like 24, 24 frets. Yeah, it's 24. Always the double dot and then it goes to 29, yeah. which is a high A. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Thank you, sir. It's got a good sound to it. It sure it. does. <laughs> I'm not used to going that high on the prep board. I do have the only Gibson double guitar. In oh, this world. one? This one's really valuable. And this is the, the only double ever. Gibson ever? Yeah. Wow. Uh, What's yeah. up with these tuners? Check them out. What does that do? You don't need a tuning. Oh, <laughs> whoa, cool, why have I never seen that before? I never have after this, Wayne put it on. Tell, tell Look, us about the string dampeners. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this, this is something you're known for too. This is one of the originals? Yeah, that's the very first one I had. Because when you tap, I'm like this. Yeah. So uh -huh. What are you going to use to dampen the string? <laughs> Can I play one too? I've never tried playing yeah. like this, obviously. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Sawtooth is the first company ever been able to do a limited edition run. Put the guitars together like this. Uh, just a recessed fly case latch. Uh -huh. Lock it low, but look at how easy that That's is. That's awesome. It takes a couple seconds. I love this sunburst. Like it's such a classic look. Oh, thanks. For yeah. such a not classic design. Yeah, you know? well, people said, dude, why are you using tellies? It's the weirdest thing I could have done. <laughs> I mean, uh, if I made another space age <laughs> guitar, there, there, there. Always really pointing. Cool to, uh huh. Just like that. There it is. <laughs> it's like a saxophone. 12 type of strings thing. of death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, let, let, it, <laughs> yeah, see, I only turn it on when I want to play it. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Or else that's going to happen. You know what I mean? That's what'll happen. I think if I can try something simple on this side and then maybe harmonize with the other one, like. Awesome. <laughs> you got guitars in stereo.
really hard to wrap your head around. Maybe I would have more luck clean. This is hard. It's hard to know all the same shapes, but the other side? Yeah. Like with this chord, for example, I want to go up a whole step, which over here means going to the right, and over here means going to the left. Exactly. That, that's the whole crux. That's it in a nutshell. Sounds great. Oh, this is really difficult. You want to show us how it's done? Neck hurts. Luckily, I have a good chiropractor. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's already impressive, but after just trying it, it's so much more impressive. <laughs> That was, Incredible. that's absolutely bonkers. When you hold it up, is that why these are here? Yeah, because yeah. when I have it upside down, I can't see the front <laughs> it's my It's my road map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the upside down, you've got to hold that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Could I try? Absolutely. Do you want it back to the clean sound rough? Actually, I think I want to try yours. Because you're not picking, you need the massive overdrive to like yeah. be able to get the notes otherwise. <laughs> that's it, that's it, yeah. Good ear, really good ear. I see why you're tap dancing on the mute button the whole time. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. You had the vibrato yeah, too. Yeah. yeah. 
when you had it like this. Oh, upside down, you is mean? that, yeah. So we flip it upside down. There's a B and a G, yeah. so you've got thirds. Like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but then you also need to balance it. I know, that's what I mean. <laughs> oh, I feel like Link taking out the master sword if you can make it to the top, you know? <laughs> this is so difficult. <laughs> I'll tell you, I've whacked myself in the head yeah. many times. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see why you do this now. Because you're getting your thumbs back here, right? That's right, yeah. It's all about leverage. And then I can lift it like that. There you go. See? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah there's yeah. always a method to the madness. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> and you can use this as a, like an anchor. That's right. So you don't have to balance it. Yeah. I didn't realize that there was a practical reason for you doing that. I thought it was just like, hey, I can play it upside down too. Yeah. You know? But yeah, all these little things that I've come up with, yeah, that's another one. It feels like a superhero move. Like... <laughs> <laughs> It'd be really cool to put this in clean and then use an open tuning on it. I've actually never heard anybody do the clean guitar yeah. sounds and make it really work. You really played something cool on it. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry to do it upside down. It's, it's really cool. It sounds beautiful. Thank you. It's <laughs> gnarly, dude. Really and I wasn't playing for that long. Yeah, there's just so many guitars and so many stories here. This yeah, is yeah. over 100 years old. This is a banjo lin. It's a Gibson reverse V. Washburn with their hockey stick headstock. This one was called the gauntlet. The two snakes uh -huh. signify the double. I also love that looking through here, I see a few lefty models. Oh, yeah. And because you also play left-handed guitar, That's it's like, like kind I of am an left handed. Oh, really? Yeah, I was born lefty. So this is your first signature? The first one through Dean. Mm -hmm. We called this the Armor Flame. <laughs> and this is a later version where you see my logo. Yeah. And this is my own uh, pickup. Cool. It's called the HWS Hands Without Shadows. Yeah, I prefer passive too. It's more expressive. Yeah. The ones that are on the outer wall, yeah. I play. Yeah. <laughs> the ones in there, they need a string. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have 29 frets, 36 frets. Yeah, yeah. Original Ibanez Flying V. It's a 68. It's the first guitar I ever had as a kid that was actually good. Yeah. There's also a few guitars in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> the original quad that was in the Nitro video. Yeah. What is the story of that one getting made and then you eventually getting it back? We were sitting at a meeting with our record company mm -hmm. and they said, you, we want you to challenge Steve Vai to a duel. It just wasn't my nature to, I'm yeah. gonna challenge you to a yeah. duel, bro. Uh -huh. And they go, you have two, Steve Vai has three. What can you do? I go, four? <laughs> and then they go, we love it. They make it as a joke. So I call Wayne, I go, can you do it? He goes, yeah, just give yeah. me the design. There it is. Yeah. So where's the rest of the guitar? Where is it? Yeah, the rest of the We thing. don't know. It got yeah. stolen oh. the second show of the Nitro Tour in Texas. They broke into the truck, just took my guitar. It never turned up. Distributor of Dean Guitars messages me, he's like, this guy's on the Jackson Forum bragging that he's got part of your quad guitar. Mm -hmm. Then the guy emails me and said, oh, I didn't know it was yours, but we have to, all the documentation yeah. that he did. So I had to buy my own guitar back for 1,500 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> it was about two grand. <laughs> Dean remade the quad. I actually had a tribute to Rock Guitar Show in Vegas for a while. Mm -hmm. Each guitar needs its own amp. So this quad has really? four amps, yes. So you're on stage with four different guitar rigs for one? Yeah, and, and, you know, <laughs> and then we wheeled it out like the Trojan horse. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what year was this one made? 89. 89. Yeah. I remember seeing it like back in the like LimeWire video going That's to right. a friend's house. The title of the video too was something like, wildest guitar solo ever. And then we started, there's an explosion. And then blah, 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 blah. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I remember seeing that so vividly. It's wild to actually see. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. See. <laughs> <laughs> Again, but see like here, so hard to tell uh -huh. where you're at. Totally. It's like an optical illusion. You think you're on the fifth fret, but you're really mm -hmm. on the seventh. And I love too how the back plate has the opening for the strings. Oh yeah. Oh, this is heavy. <laughs> I got these yeah. next. That thing's yeah. about 40, 50 pounds. Not enough necks. 
I have one other stand that's a mind blower. The next move. Is it the next to the guitar move? Yes. I mean, if you have the one with the moving necks, I mean, we gotta do it. This is too much. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just putting that yeah, on. Look out. <laughs> Occupational hazard. Okay. <laughs> Wow, this is awesome. I know. The double is much easier. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely hard to deal with. Yeah, I had to work out every detail. That's yeah, one of my riffs. Yeah, that... yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, all right. I think we've done what we can yeah, do maybe, on this. Maybe we have. If I have access to something like this, it's hard to get me to stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been really fun. Yeah, yeah. Rod, thanks, yeah. man. Yeah. Michelangelo Badio, thank you so much yeah. for letting us see your guitar collection. We really appreciate it. Cool. Anything you want to plug? You know, just maybe, you know, my metal method instructional programs, sawtooth guitars. Saw two amps. Yeah. I'm sure this isn't the last musical adventure we go on on this channel if you would like to subscribe. And yeah, thanks again. This has been awesome. Yeah. See, we have lasers hooked up to this. I have to get... <laughs> There's so many switches on the lasers too. Freaking laser beams on top of their heads. These are the different laser settings. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe there's a, we need to plug something else in. We just need to get these lasers going. <laughs> <laughs> is that L for laser? I think so. I think this is the laser. So like we should have power to the lasers as well. Split. You know, it's a pattern laser. Yeah. You know, so it makes, you know, stars and. Sure. Rob Scallon <laughs> never gives up. Hey man, we got MIDI to work in a church. It seems like the whole laser system is just broken. Also, would we see the lasers in the room? He'd have to turn the lights off and try to get it smoky. But still, it would be cool. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you on that. Yeah, it was fun jamming. Yeah. yeah, I'm just, I wish we would have had the lasers, but yeah. just to have this, <laughs> have this thing moving, you know?